I'm Anil Kumar and now let us understand the steps to solve exponential equations which have more than one term with exponent and which may need factoring. So the strategy here is to factor and solve. So we have few examples where we'll have linear factors and then we'll move on to quadratic factors. Okay. So the first question here is 2 to the power of 2x plus 3 plus 4 to the power of x equals to 72. The next one is 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 plus 9 to the power of x equals to 28. So let us solve them one by one. Now 2 to the power of 2x plus 3, it means what? It really means it could be written as 2 to the power of 2x times 2 to the power of 3. I hope you understand this, right? So when you multiply with the same base two numbers, exponents get added up and you get 2x plus 3, right? So that is how you should actually write this number. Now the second number for us is 4 to the power of x. Can you write 4 as 2 to the power of something? Yes, you can. So just as we did earlier, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so it is 2 to the power of 2x which is 4 to the power of x. The right hand side is 72. So in the first step we have done the most difficult part which is writing the term with its components which is factors right. 2 to the power of 2x times 2 to the power of 3 means 2 to the power of 2x plus 3 and 4 to the power of x means 2 to the power of 2x. Now you can see that 2 to the power of 2x is a common factor. So we'll factor this out. So 2 to the power of 2x and we are left with 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 equals to 72. Now we have 2 to the power of 2x and what is 2 to the power of 3? It is 8. So we have 8 plus 1 equals to 72 and that is 2 to the power of 2x times 9 equals to 72. So we can now divide by 9 to get 2 to the power of 2x as 72 divided by 9 which is 8 right to find the solution what can we do we need to now write 8 as power of 2 right so we could write this 8 as 2 to the power of 3 since the bases are same exponent should be equal so we have 2x equals to 3 or x is equals to 3 by 2 so that is how you can solve such questions right it is kind of complicated. I like you to go through each and every step once again, understand the whole process, right? And then it will be clear. Let us follow these steps once again. We have 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 plus 9 to the power of x equals to 28. Now I could write 3 to the power of 2x plus 3 as equal to 3 to the power of 2x times 3 to the power of 3. And 9 is 3 squared, so it becomes 3 to the power of 2x equals to 28. Perfect. This is what we did earlier. Now we will take 3 to the power of 2x common. So we are left with 3 to the power of 3 plus 1, since we have already factored this out, which is 28. Now we have 3 to the power of 2x. 3 to the power of 3 is 9. Oh, sorry, 27. So it is 27 plus 1, which is 28. Now 27 plus 1 is also 28, so we have 3 to the power of 2x equals to 28 divided by 28, which is 1. 1 could be written as 3 to the power of 0, right? So anything to the power of 0 is 1. That means 2x should be equal to 0 or x is equals to 0. So our solution is x equals to 0. So that is how you can actually solve such equations. I like you to check solutions, right? Check solutions and also try them yourself. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.